Welcome to the Teledyne's YouTube channel. Let's dive into some rockabilly finger picking. First off, rockabilly finger picking doesn't have to be perfect. The two methods I have found to be the most practical are using the pick and the fingers or tucking the pick up in the index finger. When playing with the pick and the fingers, the pick will always be there to go right into flat picking. However, the advantage of tucking the pick up in the index finger is that it gives you a little bit more stretch between your thumb and your middle finger. This way you can easily reach between the low strings and the high strings. But it can also take a little while to get used to tucking the pick up and bringing it back down and being able to do so fast enough so you can easily transition from finger picking to flat picking. We'll start off with a basic 12 bar blues in A with a rockabilly swing. Of course, you can also play around with different chord inversions on the neck to make it more interesting. Finger picking in rockabilly doesn't really have any strict rules. Playing rockabilly at times kind of feels like a bunch of different root styles all thrown together, at least from a guitar playing perspective. So one way to play is over the A7 bar chord shape. That's kind of a standard rockabilly phrase you hear. It's played over the course of two bars. And what you're doing is hitting the low A with your thumb and the high A with your ring finger or middle finger, if that works better for you, together. You'll be playing the A all the way through this. And then with your fingers, the top notes are the only thing that's really changing. A, G, back to A, hammer on from a C natural to a C sharp, an E, a C natural, and an A. And then when you get the thumb in there, then you'll switch to a D, usually a D9. You can bounce back and forth between the strings, kind of like a Travis style picking. I like to accent the first couple of notes, like hitting the downbeats of the one and the two first, like this. And then back to the A. So then with the E, same thing. And this is kind of a good pattern to get familiar with finger picking like this. And you can use it in any key. And you can also play around with the notes. And when you're finger picking over something like a diminished or a nine, where you're only playing the top four strings, you just want to go back and forth. So it's thumb on the D string, ring finger on the E string, thumb on the G string, middle finger on the B string. You can bounce the bass note back and forth too once you get a little bit more comfortable with it. And then there's finger picking over a country rockabilly two beat or train beat. Now, of course, with this kind of a feel, you're going to be picking a little faster. So it might take some time to build up the speed so your fingers don't fatigue. Now, usually with this one, you don't really want to hit the G. You'll hit the A, F sharp, and still do the hammer on. Like, that's all right, mama. And of course, when you're picking with your fingers, you can also switch into comping mode, too, real quick. And a cool thing you can do with tucking the pick up is you can go back and forth between the middle finger and the thumb. It kind of creates a cool little chicken pick and sounding effect. Or bouncing between two strings. 
Another advantage when you tuck the pickup in the index finger is that you can easily switch pickups like this. A neat little thing you can do with the pick and the fingers is pick one of the low strings and pick with your fingers at the same time, like this. Kind of a Danny Gatton kind of thing. Plus, I just love the sound you get from popping the strings with your fingers. Taking the time to learn finger picking techniques is a lot of fun and can really expand the different sounds you can get out of the guitar. And of course, there's always playing with a thumb pick or just your fingers. But I always use these two methods primarily, so I always have quick access to the pick. Thank you for watching the Teledyne's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps out on the algorithm. And you can click that notification bell to be aware of when new videos drop. Right now we're trying to reach our goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you want to help the band or the channel, the best thing you can do is hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing, and it means a whole lot to us. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time.